Hey honey bunnies, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well. So this is going to be a couples edition reading. All right, so I'm using three different decks here. I'm using the Romance Angels from Doring Virtue, the Rebel Deck Couples Edition, and I'm using my Couples Edition messages that I created. Okay, so we have here, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Um, and it's really funny that this card came out because we also have another one down here where it says, stop trying to control every damn thing. Let shit go. Don't be so extra. So whether it's you or whether it's your person who has control issues, but it could be the viewer, because I feel like this has a lot to do with the viewer having control issues. And, you know, I feel like you could be a little complicated in your relationship or someone's very complicated, um, whoever has the control issues here. Uh, maybe you feel like you have to have all this control because it makes you feel powerful. It makes you feel like you're more on top of shit. But I feel like it's it's happening to like an extreme extent to where it could be causing issues and, and drama and problems in your relationship. And we also have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So this is telling me that there, you guys are dealing with some financial issues. Maybe someone is having too much control of the money. Maybe someone is losing control of the finances. Um... Maybe you feel like you have to because the other person is not financially responsible and it's causing issues and maybe you feel like you got to mommy them or be the banker for them and shit. And it's just like becoming a big deal. Um, it could also mean that someone is all about the money and not, you know, not paying too much attention to the relationship and the connection. Um, we also have and take your anger out in bed communicate with me first, leave your family out of it. And then we have stay private. So there's a lot going on here. We also have talk it out um, about needing to really communicate with one another instead of going to like your family about shit when you're mad, when you're angry and frustrated because you know maybe you lost control or maybe there's some bullshit going on in your connection that it's like you you run right away or you call your family right right away. Your, your sister, your brother, or your husband does that. Your man does that. The best friend. like it's That creates a lot more issues because you're leaving the door open for others to enter your relationship. To enter the energy of your connection. And that can disrupt things because it's an energy interference. Okay, so that will cause problems. So your partner wants you to communicate with them first instead of, you know, going to your family or leaving your mom or mother-in-law, your family members out of your relationship and, and, you know, stay private, you know, don't tell the whole world, don't post your problems and bullshit on social media. Like the world does not need to know your issues because like I said, it leaves the door open and you're welcoming them, welcoming them into your space. Um, and you don't like it when other people try to intervene in your connection, but yet you're out there like posting your shit. So then we have, um, I nag you because I care. The day I stop nagging is the day that I stop caring, which is very true, right? It is very true. Yeah. Men take note. The reason why your woman bitch and nags at you is because they give a fuck. Okay. But I also feel like whoever here is the more like tough one. I'm, I'm picking up like the queen of swords energy and also the queen of pentacles in reverse for some reason. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, you could be the type that is, you know, instead of like talking it out or having that heart to heart, you go, you look for opinions, you know, outside of your connection, which is a huge no, no, it's a huge problem. And so what spirit wants you to do, you know, instead of doing that is to, you know, come to one another and talk it out, you know, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, just like this card says here, talk it out. When was the last time you guys disconnected from the world, retreated, it's time to disconnect and spend some quality time, you know, on each other, on one another, which is pretty interesting that this came out here because over here it says we need a vacation, honey. You see what I mean? So it's like, 
have you guys been working too hard? Maybe you work at home um, or maybe someone is just putting too much time in, in their career and not enough time in the in the relationship. And it's like lately it's just been a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting, a lot of like trying to one up one another instead of, you know, talking it out, having a heart to heart, spending time together, keeping it only between you guys and, you know, making the effort to fix things within your connection. So, and then it says, it's not easy putting up with you, but you're worth it. So, yeah, it could, you know, it could get very complicated, right? You could be a complicated feminine. They could be a complicated masculine or vice versa. Whoever's watching, you know, if you're, if you clicked on this video, it, you were meant to watch it. There's a reason why you had to watch it. All right. So just because things can get difficult, it doesn't mean you're just going to up and leave and call it quits, you know? Um, just because the, the treadmill is challenging, are you going to stop trying to, you know, work out or look good? You know what I mean? Like, don't give up. Work on your partnership is, is what it's trying to t tell you here. Um, and then we also have no one will ever put up with me the way that you do. So listen, if you're a specific type of special type of challenging person or partner, <laughs> And you know no matter what, you bitch and you nag, but you know nobody else is going to put up with your bullshit like your person does with you or vice versa. Okay, so you got to acknowledge that a little bit. <laughs> so then we also have tantrums are for babies. Tantrums are for babies. Grow the fuck up. So if someone is bitching and nagging, okay, there's been a lot of arguing. Look, take your, your anger and your frustration out in bed. No need to throw a fit every single fucking day because you're not in control or you feel like you're losing it it's telling you guys to grow up a little bit and then we also have you think you got them all figured out you don't Ooh, just when you think you got you know you got them all figured out surprise surprise you know you you, you learn so much just by talking it out by having that heart to heart you're like oh i didn't know that bothered you honey i didn't know that was an issue well, you didn't give me a chance to explain or you didn't, you know, you were talking over me or you you shut me out every time I try to communicate. So that becomes an issue, guys. OK, so try to get to know your partner, work on it a little bit. Um, and then it says time to it says time for shit to get real, get honest as fuck. You see, it's all about communication. A closed mouth does not get fed. And then it says, family shit is getting on your nerves. Have each other's back. Look, you guys are on each other's team. And it's so funny that this came out because it says, communicate with me first and leave your family out of it. If you guys, if their family is getting on your fucking nerves or if your family is getting on your partner's nerves, instead of being pissed off at each other, have each other's back. You know what I mean? Disconnect a little bit. Go on a vacation. Fuck it out. <laughs> Just fuck it out a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> that always helps. It says your boundaries are trash. It says block those bad vibes. Block them out. Somebody ha somebody in this relationship or connection has some fucking bullshit as boundaries. Like those are your boundaries. That's trash. Throw that shit out. So then we have again, look, have sex. Do we really need a card for this? Again, boom. Take it out in bed. And then the last card, it says, it's not that serious. Laugh, fuckers. Don't let the bullshit make you bitter. Boom. Boom. Dropping the card. <laughs> All right, loves. That's what I have for you guys. If it resonated, comment down below. If you want to book a personal, all that information is down below as well.